Newsly presents Boy, What a Month That Was. February 2007. February 10th, Springfield, Illinois. Barack Obama officially declares he is running for president in 2008. The Democratic senator basks in the media's golden glow for one whole day. Until he says the lives of American troops in Iraq have been... Wasted, wasted, wasted. Obama spends the next few weeks attempting to extricate a nasty obstruction from his mouth. All month long, all over your TV. America's cable news stations are saved from having to cover boring subjects like war and health care by a veritable hat trick of sensational stories. First, astronaut Lisa Nowak is charged with attempted murder after driving from Texas to Florida in diapers so she can pepper spray a romantic rival. Next, professional celebrity Anna Nicole Smith drops dead in a Florida hotel room, sparking epic legal battles over custody of her infant daughter, her estate, and her rapidly decaying mortal remains. And finally, party girl singer Britney Spears checks into rehab, checks out of rehab, shaves her head bald this time, gets some tattoos, checks into rehab, checks out of rehab, then checks back into rehab one more time for good measure. February 28th, New York City, New York. Announcing his presidential bid on the David Letterman Show, Senator John McCain says that the lives of American troops in Iraq have been... Wasted, wasted, wasted. McCain proves that he's faster than Barack Obama at putting his foot in his mouth. And that Slate founder Michael Kinsley's definition of a political gap still continues to resonate throughout the ages. <laughs> This has been yesterday's newslet. A look back on humiliating gaffes, slip-ups, faux pas, and other snippets of great historical embarrassment.